Hi everyone in YouTube world. Here are some extra things I ended up getting from the Janie and Jack collaboration with American Girl or reverse that American Girl collaboration with Janie and Jack. So I ended up getting the beret. I ended up getting some doll size boots. I thought that would come in handy. I ended up getting some flats because I always need extra flats for uh, some of the mix and match pieces that I have in my doll collection. So I also ended up getting this pretty sweater. Um, I always feel like I don't have enough sweaters and this sweater reminds me of a sweater I used to have back in the late 80s maybe even the mid eighties that have like the puffed sleeve shoulders. Um, it's really like a puff sleeve top because of the shoulders. So, um, and the cinched neck and the cinched waistline uh, and the cinched cuffs on the sleeve. So I remember having a lot of sweaters like that um, in of course pink and not so much navy blue because I was a little girl back in the eighties. And so I also wanted this fur trim plaid coat. They had to go out back to get it just because they didn't have it on display yet. But I really went to the store just to purchase this coat because I remember seeing something like this in my Mattel Barbie collection years ago. And even when I look at vintage Barbie clothes, I see a lot of these kinds of coats with the fur trim. So even my great grandmother or maybe my grandmother had a coat like this uh, just because I've seen it in pictures. And I think I even saw it in her closet at one point in time. And I also like the soft as snow fur jacket, but it really reminds me of a shrug. Uh, a fur shrug or a fur uh, stole, I think is what they called it back in the 1950s or 60s. So again, to me, uh, these are throwbacks to the Mattel Barbie collection of the 1960s. Um, and again, this is something of a throwback to the 1980s. I watched a lot of Family Ties too. And I think I, I, think I was a really big fan of Mallory, even though I never had the hair that Mallory had and she was so pretty. Um, I just always wanted to emulate her style. <laughs> so I, I love the fact that that feels like a throwback to family ties. These feel like a throwback to the 1980s in general when it came to dressing up um, and had just the flats that little girls used to wear. And these are true flats where I don't even see a kitten heel on them. And I like that these are the kind of boots that go all the way up the calf of the leg. So I remember having a pair of boots like these probably about 15 years ago. Um, so getting to the beret, I really think that this is a tam -a but they call it a, a woolen beret. It's kind of a nod to Molly's. Molly the Historical Dolls Beret, and I really wanted it for the girl and boy doll. So um, I'm going to show you guys how it looks on both. Okay, so I took it out of the packaging. Um, so here is how, here is how they both look on each doll. So I really wanted to get um, some models that looked similar to one another, but when I reached for the dolls in my collection that I have in storage, it was more, I could find this doll more easily than I could find her brother look-alike doll. So um, I just have these two dolls modeling it. But if you have dolls that look similar to each other or could pass as a girl and boy twin, uh, twin dolls, then they would look adorable, I think, in these. And um, this beret, I just like how the palm is more of a full palm here. And I probably have to do something to get this one to look fuller. But um, I really wanted them for two dolls instead of one. So I could tell the person in the store was like, you really want to? And I was like, yes, yes, I really want to. <laughs> so um, I definitely love the fact that I was able to get both uh, for the girl and the boy. Now, just to complete the look for the boy, it would be nice to have like a, 
a coat for the boy doll um, that's just as fancy as the girl's coat and jacket. But hey, you know, I'm just glad American Girl decided to make a boy doll outfit. Another thing I ended up getting at American Girl just for buying uh, some of the Janie and Jack sets for the mix and match or just one thing from their collection, I guess, is a coupon for Janie and Jack, the website. And um, you guys might want to even use this coupon as fast as you can because the expiration date is not too far from here. Um, it's actually my coupon expires November 26th of this year, I believe. But um, I definitely like the photo or the artwork that is used on this coupon. Uh, this is probably the nicest coupon I think I've seen. So um, everything else, like I probably won't put this sweater on anyone anytime soon, nor the flats, nor the boots, just because I very much love this outfit and that you get it in one set. So um, I think I'm just going to give you guys an idea of how these two um, pieces look on top of the dress. And then everything else I probably will have to do a review of later. So to give you guys an idea, the fur jacket is about 14, no, $20. And um, these are all the ways that you can wear it or that your doll can wear it. And so I'll be modeling this look for right now. So cautionary tale, guys. Um, my doll has curly hair and ringlets. And because of the Velcro that is on this piece right here, I did not see it. And it caught on her hair. So this is just a cautionary tale. It could have been a lot worse, but uh, a piece of her hair ended up getting stuck in the Velcro. So that's probably why I don't like the fact that I paid $20 for the jacket and it didn't have like a button or clasp. I would have preferred a button or clasp with this piece simply because it is $20 by itself. If it came with the dress or if it came with another outfit, I wouldn't mind so much that it had Velcro, but the fact that it can get caught on a doll's hair, um, I feel like for $20, they should have provided a button. Okay, so not so bad. Um, I do like how the overall look does look on the dress. Um, the Tam O'Shanter kind of puts it over the top. Uh, if you don't have the beret, this is how the outfit looks with the jacket. I do like the thickness of the jacket. It is a quality jacket, but again, my uh, qualm is the Velcro. They did not really need it um, because it would be nice to see how this dress looks with it open and not have your doll's hair get caught on the Velcro. That would have been a nice, lovely option especially since you do want this outfit to go with your doll's holiday dress. Um, and the pleats, sometimes when you move the doll around, the pleats do get a little...